Hi, I'm Seth Johnson with Land House, and this is a ram pump. A water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to pump water uphill. In this video, I'm going to be showing you what happens if you close off the delivery pipe at the bottom of the system and also at the top. So let me show you the setup real quick and we'll get started. I have a bucket of water sitting on top of three feet of head pressure plus the hydrostatic pressure that's in the bucket. Comes down a 15 foot long drive pipe to the ram pump. And I'm gonna be testing out a PSI here at the pump so I can close off the delivery pipe here and see what kind of PSI we're getting. And then I can take the same PSI gauge and go to the top of this 17 foot ladder. 17 because it's sitting on top of this playhouse. <laughs> a little risky I know, but should give us the results we need. To get started on test one, I have the water to a known spot, and I'm just going to come down here and turn the pump on. There's no pressure here on the delivery pipe side. So let's get this going. I'm gonna time, once I get this started, Basically, this is allowing pressure into the pump here. Okay, and the timer has started. I'm gonna go for one minute and see what kind of pressure we have building up here. Looks like we have a total of about 26 or 27 PSI. Now for test number two, I'm gonna go ahead and keep water inside of the delivery pipe, but I'm gonna go ahead and relieve the pressure here at the valve. And that way the pump will still have to start, but the delivery pipe won't have to be filled up. This should do okay here. But I'm gonna keep this closed, just let the pressure out here. Okay, that should give us a fresh start. I'm gonna take this up the ladder and put it on the top and see what kind of pressure we get. Okay, up here at the top of the ladder, I've just got a ball valve that's closed off. Let me put this on here real quick. Okay, before we climb up this ladder and get the PSI of the top, if you would hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And if you're interested in the Ram Pump, I have four different sizes available at landahouse.com or on Amazon. Both of those links are down below. Okay, let's climb up here and see what kind of PSI we've got. Okay, here's the plan. I'm gonna turn this valve on, prime this thing, and as soon as it starts, I'm going to open up the delivery pipe and we will head up top. The pressure in that pipe is uh, at zero, so are we just atmospheric at the top. So let's go ahead and open this and Try to get up here to the top before the one minute mark so that I can open this other valve and see what kind of pressure we're getting at the one minute mark. I'm kind of afraid of heights, so this is a, a challenge for me. Okay, I have the valve open here and it's been almost a minute. We're at 20 PSI right now. Okay, there we go. Now we're at, looks like 24 PSI. So it hasn't lost a whole lot based on this uh, lift here, which is pretty cool. All of that was just to show you that a lot of pressure has been built up at the top, even with just three feet of head pressure here. So to get to the question, can I close and open the delivery pipe at the top? So let's get to that now. I'm gonna go ahead and start the pump with a full bucket of water so it'll run for a while. Let it go, um, just start pumping water up. We'll go to the top and we'll close the valve, wait for a second or two and then open it full blast and see what happens. Here we have the delivery pipe flow rate at the top of 16 feet above the pump. And you can see it's just a steady little flow here. 
So let's close this for about 45 seconds and then just open it as fast as possible. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna just open this real quick. And there you go, worked just fine. Okay, and now I'm gonna give this a full minute to build up that 22, 24 PSI, and then we'll open it and see what happens. All right, here we go. Let's see if it'll stop the pump. Good, kept it going. As you can see, it is possible to open and close the delivery pipe at the top. Now, a couple things to consider. If there's not enough back pressure in your pipe pushing back down on the pump, the sudden open of the delivery pipe can cause a surge of water to come out and it will stop the pump. We're up high enough with this 16 to 17 feet that the column of water pushing back down on the pump, even though I opened it quick and a surge of water came out, was still enough to keep the pump going. So if I were to either increase my head pressure coming into the pump, or if I were to lower the delivery pipe, it would cause uh, either too much pressure to be built for the lift that I've got, or not enough back pressure pushing down on the pump. So just things to consider. But in this case, yes, it's totally fine to open and close that delivery valve. So the question was brought up, what if I were to take a ram pump to a toilet, like off-grid kind of situation, and be able to fill the tank with the ram pump? Yes, you've got a float valve in the toilet that would um, turn the pump on fairly suddenly, like I just did, but um, should be slow enough that it will allow you to um, keep it going. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, do hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And if you're interested in a pump, check out those links in the description down below uh, for your very own. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.